Welcome back to Refit and Sale. My name's George and this is Project Charlotte. So the first job I'm going to tackle is to see if I can do something about these top sides because we need to know if it's going to be salvageable or whether we're into a repaint. I think this gel coat will clean up surprisingly well. Here's the other side looking pretty horrible so uh, I'm hoping we can get that staining out and then get the polishing mop on it and give it a good polish and hopefully it will come up looking considerably better because at the moment from what I understand the uh, refit budget doesn't necessarily extend to a respray. what it looks like after the initial stain removal it's looking pretty reasonable actually it's still very very chalky so it needs a good polish but my homebrew special stain removal washdown has worked very nicely that's the starboard side it's got the sun on it it's about half seven in the morning so the sun's just starting to get a bit of heat into it which is nice there's still some marks that are just above the waterline, but that's been previously anti-fouled by the looks of it. Um, I think ultimately the waterline needs to be a little bit higher on this boat when we get round to that stage. The hull is looking a lot nicer now it's had its stain removal, so the next stage is to give it a really good buff and polish, so hopefully it will come up looking fairly decent. This is coming up pretty nice. That's the polished bit, and there's the not polished bit. That is quite a change. Polished, not polished. As you can see behind me, the hull polishing is complete. I've not gone crazy on it because it's a painted surface, so you don't want to be polishing through the paint. There's only so much material there, but I've been over it with the buffer and it's looking much, much better. I'll take you for a little walk around. This is the port side, so I can see myself in it in a minute, which is good. And uh, it's come up pretty nicely. There is the odd thing. You can see some old damage there. I'm not sure if it'll come up on the camera, but uh, there's a bit of old damage there that you can see has been painted over, but it wasn't fully, um, what's the word? It wasn't fully fared in. I um, don't know if you can see it there, possibly not. Same story on the other side. It's generally pretty good, but there's just the odd thing. There's a bit of bow damage here. We'll have to have a look at it at some point. Again, you may not see it on camera, but um, it could do with a bit of a repair at some point. Um, but the key thing is that we've got it polished enough now that we know what colour the hull is, which is uh, a good start. And uh, 
the owner can come down and decide if he's happy with it or whether he wants to do something more with it. I think it's quite acceptable given that there is quite a lot of other work that we want to do on the boat. Next thing I thought I'd make a start on is this cockpit seating. You can see the plywood is um, not going to take a lot of uh, pulling off, I suspect, for most of this. Um, but it all needs to come out so that I can either make up some new panels to go back into these recesses, which uh, would retain the originality to some extent. But I actually prefer potentially taking the teak right up to the edge all over because that gives a really nice clean finish. So I'm going to discuss that with the owner, but the first step is to rip all the old stuff off. This should all come up pretty easily. I'm just using a really old chisel that I don't mind damaging screwdriver and a hammer as required. I'm expecting it all to come up pretty easily. Back here, which I'm not sure is out of shot, is the uh, fixings for the old tiller pilot or autopilot so um, there'll be a hole all the way through to the inside there so I'm gonna have to seal that and a few of these screw holes up so that if it rains we don't get water into the boat been pushing on with the cockpit and uh, progressed pretty well. I'll show you where I've got to. So you can see all the old teak faced plywood has been removed along with the teak edging strips. So uh, that's all been chiseled out and then uh, what I've done is found all the holes for all the fixings. I've removed the hinges as well because they're not going to get reused and there's a couple of holes there for the old autopilot mount there's a couple of holes there for what was the uh, rope fixing for the old traveler i think we're going to replace the traveler i'm not 100 percent sure um, i've got to look up some options for the owner the cockpit locker lids need some significant strengthening they are super super flexible um, i can't show you how flexible they are because i'm holding the camera but um, they're going to get some relamination on the inside and uh, that should stiffen them up considerably same with the stern one back there it's uh, super flexible and uh, the rest of the cockpit is much more solid but I'm going to be filling in all these recesses with something so as I'm doing it I may as well lay up some glass in there before filling the rest up with some uh, some filler because that's just going to add some structure into the into the cockpit as well. It's fairly solid um, but it moves a little bit when you're standing on it and uh, I'd really like it to be as solid as possible before I put the new teak or cockpit decking down which probably isn't going to be teak in fact. So here's the locker lids and I said they were super flexible and I can really, I don't know if that shows up on camera or not but they're super super floppy. Um, they've also dropped a little bit if I uh, bring you down slightly if I push on there you can see how flexy that is um, and uh, when I put some decking on I want the whole lot to be completely flush so um, so I'm gonna reinforce them at the back and make sure that the uh, the back here is brought back up kind of in line with where it all needs to be so that everything will end up as a, as a fairly flat surface for the new decking to go down onto because it'll look a bit funny if I put decking on as it is because it will undulate which is not very pretty at all. So that's the plan. Uh, I'm going to chuck some goo into all these holes, uh, just some polyester filler for the time being. That's just going to make it waterproof uh, and then as the last job I think for this episode I'm going to jet wash the boat, which is very exciting, I'm sure. Um, you don't have to watch that if you don't want to, um, but for fun, I will record it. Um, but uh, 
just jet washing everything just makes the boat a nicer place to um, work on and gets rid of some of this um, filth that's been on here for quite some time and hopefully it won't highlight too many issues but to some extent everything needs cleaning before it can be polished because look that's what comes off on my hand it's just grot Thank you.